Hi guys, this is Lisa from Caffeinated Dragonware, uh, and I don't usually do tutorials, but today I made an exception. And if you're anything like me, uh, you just want to skip the boring intro stuff and get rid of the code. So this right here is the code. If you just wanted to copy it and paste it into your script, by all means, here you go. Uh, but if you want me to explain what exactly is going on here, uh, watch on. Alright, so I was working on trying to get props moving in a game that my boyfriend and I are working on called Exit Stage Left. Uh, it's a game where a stage hog won't get off stage despite like the cast and crew and even the audience turning against them. So I wanted to add props that are just moving on a pendulum and have them switch directions and stuff like a true pendulum does. Uh, with a hinge joint in Unity, uh, it just goes in like a circular motion, so I really wanted to be able to control it using a script. And I came upon a few roadblocks trying to do this. I was able to actually edit it within Unity itself, but with an actual script, it just wasn't responding at all. I ended up finding this form here, which gave me an answer right here. Uh, but it was kind of vague because if you take this code and paste it into Unity as is, uh, you're going to get this error that this guy down here talks about. And judging by this form, there are a lot of people with this particular issue, even in 2020. Alright, so let's go over here into Unity. I'm just going to want to drag in this rope. Like that. And drag this into my scene. And now I'm going to create a 2D hinge joint. It's going to be right here. I'm going to scroll down to it. I'm going to hit this Edit Joint Angular Limits button. Alright, and I'm just going to move this thingy right here. Uh, this is your hinge. This is what your rope is going to be rotating on. So it's going to go in a circular motion around this point. Kind of like a clock, actually. It's going to look very much like a clock. Um, so here's what I'm talking about. This right here you can use to effectively move that rope. So if I check this use motor options, the same as turning on a car basically, turning on the engine on a car, and I can set this speed right here to say how fast I want to move this rope. I hit play that will work just fine. It'll move around. And if I wanted to reverse this, I can just set a negative. And now it's going in the opposite direction. And if I don't want it to move at all, I just uncheck that use motor. And it'll just stay there. Alright, that's, that's good. So now we want to go ahead and create a script. I'm going to call this Rope Swing. I'm just going to want to open this in a code editor here. Oh, first I'm going to want to make a variable and call it hinge. And I'm going to set that equal to get component oh, hinge joint 2D brackets and a little semicolon here. Uh, so just make sure there is a hinge joint on whatever object you're putting the script on. You just have this line of code and it'll automatically look for it. If there is no hinge joint, it'll give you an error saying that it's looking for one. So next we're going to create a variable for our motor. Um, we're just going to use this hinge right here. We're going to use dot notation to look for the motor. And this just makes it a little bit easier for the scripting instead of having to put out like, you know, hinge dot motor every single time. You could just use motor. Like I said, just to make it a little bit easier. Now, I'm going to use hinge here again. And we're going to use the use motor command here. Is that the true? Uh, so that's essentially the same thing as that checkbox in Unity that I was showing you. 
Next, we're going to set a speed. I'm going to do motor dat motor speed. And we'll have that equal to negative 100. And just set a speed for the motor. Next, we're going to give our motor some force to get up to that speed. And we do this by setting motor.maxmotortorque. And I will set that equal to 1000. So, as I mentioned up here, that the motor is essentially like an engine in a car. Uh, the motor speed is like your speedometer in the car. This is your target speed right here, your speed limit, if you will. Uh, and this right here is how much horsepower your engine would have. Picture if you were getting hit by a car, and picture if you get hit by a golf cart, you know? Uh, which one's going to have the bigger impact? Obviously the car, because the golf cart isn't going to have as high of a number here on the torque for the motor. So, just think of it that way. So with hinge joints, you can actually set limits, uh, like how far you actually want it to go. Yeah, you can restrict it in that sense. I don't really want to do that right now, so I'm just going to set that to false. So it'll go in a complete circle all the way around, and it'll just keep doing that until I stop it. Now, this line right here, this is the thing that I spent hours and hours and hours looking for. Uh, this right here is the magic line. So it's going to be hinge at motor equals motor. And that is literally just this line right here, but reversed. And script will not work without this line. Alright, so this right here is the fix for this. I'm going to show you what happens if I don't have this line. I'm just going to hit comment that out right now. And I'm just going to unset all of these values and attach my script here. So as you can see, the rope is not moving. Uh, the use motor is checked, but there are no values here. Uh, if I un and see, like the use motor is unchecked. So obviously our script is doing something, but it's not setting these values right here with the motor speed and the maximum force, um, which is of course your torque that I was mentioning. All right, so that's because of this special line that I had to hunt through numerous forms to find, which. It's this line right here where I am accessing the motor, but it's literally, like I said, just reversed. Um, that is the fix that is mentioned here, but it, this is just the motor line. This isn't even the hinge joint, this is just the joint motor. Like this, this line included in the script, I'm just going to hit play here. And what do you know, it actually works! Uh, if I go back to my script again, just to show it actually is the script, I set that to a positive speed, which is going to change the direction. And look, it's going in the opposite direction. And you know, if I set the speed to zero, it's of course not going to do anything. So I hope this tutorial helps. Uh, let me know if you have any further questions in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.